Nigeria is a noise. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you all doing today? So on your screen is your usual girl blessing like Google blend one. You know what I'm saying? And today guys, I'm going to be talking about how I really feel about pregnancy. Guys, pregnancy is not usually what it seems to be or looks like. A lot of people think that, a lot of people that have not been through it think that pregnancy is a piece of cake. But <laughs> sorry to bust your bubbles. Is there, there's a whole lot to pregnancy than just a piece of cake and lately guys I've been in my feelings you know about this pregnancy I don't know why but today is um, today is Thursday 18 which means tomorrow is 19 I have my doctor's appointment tomorrow and I plan to film that which is why I'm making this video now so that because that's just how I plan my video. So that's it guys. Talking about you know how I feel about pregnancy guys. I was I am able to divide it like into two. I have the like negative part, not so negative though, and I have the like positive part which is but the number one thing that turned me off with this pregnancy, which is the negative one is honestly guys this is not my dream pregnancy. Talking about dream pregnancy guys in my other two pregnancies guys it has always been a smooth sailing pregnancy with no form of you know pain or whatever but guys with this one there has been a whole lot going on the nauseousness the vomiting the not eating loss of appetite and stuff oh my god this is still making noise i'm trying to feel so, and all of these things is just you know like that they're really on like the bad side and i don't enjoy any of these any of those things like want to be able to feel okay to feel normal to be able to you know do one of things without you know getting dizzy and all that so that is not no it's like a major turn off for me now the second thing about this pregnancy is exhaustion i know that pregnancy is always is like exhaustion is expected in pregnancy because our body has to go through a lot of things you know to be able to form a child and then give birth to a human being but guys the exhaustion honestly is just so freaking too much and i don't like getting tired because when i do i have to nap whenever i get tired i just have to nap and when those days come like everywhere is just so messy and things don't go smoothly in the house you know and I just don't like those days guys. I am always tired. Sometimes I go to bed by 7, 8 p.m. in the evening. But should I call it night? But I just don't understand that. You during my other pregnancies, those times are the times that me and hobby gets to go out, you know, to go and eat stores, you know. But now I just lie down in bed with my pajamas and I'm dozing off around 7 or 8 p.m. This thing that is on my negative side of this pregnancy is body changes like i know that this is not my first pregnancy but somehow i don't know why it bother it's bothering me now when i talk about body changes i talk i mean like saggy boobs and the big tummies and the stretch marks and everything but my most important concern is like the big tummy because i'm giving birth to two babies like nobody's even worried about that because like what i'm worried about is having big tummy guys i don't want to have a bloated tummy my body right now guys is can you guys even see my face like the color pigmentation like the discoloration on my face is on another level my veins are popping my veins everywhere are just so so too much i don't know what they call it vicious vein or the viscous vein or the what whatever vein they call it like it's not acceptable like i don't like it and it is taking its toll on me everywhere is just filled with veins can you guys even see my it's just so much that I can handle now in this pregnancy. The next thing that bothers me in this pregnancy is eating takeouts. I cannot stop eating takeouts. When I say eating takeouts, I mean eating.
still buying food, money out of my life. Like I could barely eat whatever that I cook. That anything that somebody else is cook, that that's what I want to have. That's what I want to eat. And in order for me to eat, I have to go and get food from restaurants or from shop right. Hobby has to buy me food before I can eat. And that is money draining, honestly, because this economy, nobody has time for that. Not me, definitely. So I don't know. This is not. This is like a big challenge for me in this pregnancy. I'm telling you guys, I did not experience any of this in my other two pregnancies. This is all. These are just so new to me, and I don't know why. Like after having two kids, seriously. Do you guys understand? Next thing that bothers me in this pregnancy that bothers me so freaking much is the birthing of this baby. Guys, during my first pregnancy, I had a normal vaginal birth, but during the second one, I had a C-section because of some failed um, induction. And excuse me, my doctor did tell me that my baby has to be around 3.02 or 05 for me to give birth vaginally. If not, I have to be operated on again. And guys, seriously, God bear me witness, I don't want to go through oppression ever again in my life i'm not saying there's nothing wrong with operation i really thank god for the grace that i get to be operated on with my first with my second child that was honestly like a second chance to life for me because <laughs> i almost got married but god said no so i'm grateful for god for this section but for me to say what i want if it's left for me to pick i'm just going to say vaginal delivery because i almost starved to death when I gave birth to my second child, I had to, I I labored for almost 28 to 30 hours, and at the end of the day, I didn't get to eat for almost like two days. Guys, that is too much for a human being. I saw myself crying for food like a baby. Like the thought of that, no, no, guys, no, please, I don't want this. Put me in your prayers, guys. I don't even want to think about it. I've been trying so hard to cut down my sugar intake, but it's so difficult, guys. You know all these pregnancy cravings. You just want to eat whatever that you know that you want that your body feels like for you to eat. And sometimes it's so difficult you know, to control those things that you that you want to eat. And honestly, I need to start controlling them so that my baby don't get too big, although my children don't get big. The two, the other two is they are both 3 kg dots, like 3.00 kg dots. I don't know about this one, and I pray that that this one follow follow his brother's footsteps, you know. So the last one, the last thing on my negative, you know, um, part is my school schedules. If you guys don't know, I'm a student, yes, <laughs> and it's really, really, really hard, you know, going to school with <laughs> the big belly like <laughs> you don't want to do that but the devastating part of this now is that my school has scheduled our exams with uh, towards my you know due date and i don't know how that is going to work out for me like that has gotten me thinking lately and i don't want to give birth in my classroom you know i don't want to have been in my hall writing my exams and my water breaks and or I start having like strong contractions. I don't want that to happen. I'm just praying to God and hoping that God helps me. You know, I don't know how He's going to do it, but I trust Him. I'm just praying that I don't give birth in my classroom. You know what I mean? I don't want to give birth in the class. I don't want to my water to break in the class. I don't want to experience this or this shenanigans because I plan to fill my birth vlog by the grace of God if the hospital is going to let me. And I don't want to start filming it in my example, like, no. So I pray that God helps me through that one. And like, there's nothing that I can even do about that one. The only thing that I can do about that one is just to pray. All of these things just is just to pray. And that is what I've been doing. So guys, lift me up in your prayers because I really need prayers in my life right now. Imagine me giving birth in classroom. Now, coming forward to the positive ones, one thing that I enjoy and I love so much about myself being about and pregnancy is that I'm always able to get pregnant whenever I want to be pregnant like get pregnant like I get pregnant so quickly and I get pregnant almost when I schedule to get pregnant I don't know that's that might just be you know my body but I think it's the grace of God because there's nothing that I do for my own self so I'm so happy that whenever I want to get pregnant and it doesn't have to be a struggle or also or you know going 
to doctors and all that just you know happens and although this one happened a little bit sooner to when i planned it but it is still like on the same lane so that is one thing that i'm happy about with myself and my type of body so that within myself that i'm ready for this baby to come like guys i know that i'm complaining not complaining though i'm just saying how i feel but i know that there has been a whole lot of negativity but i'm happy that very soon that I'm going to be having a baby, a new baby in my life. I don't know, I just love the smell of babies. When I go into my room and I hear like, the sm and I perceive like the smell of babies, you know, the, the uh, what is it, is it scent, you know, everywhere is smelling so babyish and their cries, you know, taking care of them and they're, you know, pooping and everything. <laughs> pooping? That's crazy. Why would someone let babies pooping? Then the next thing on the positive part of being pregnant is the shopping part, you know. I love shopping. I love shopping. I just don't have the money to shop, but I enjoy shopping. I love shopping for my babies. I love shopping for myself and hobby. But the baby's shopping is just so... The baby's shopping is just so, you know, pleasing. What is wrong with this thing? Can't you this thing on, please? Not to cast your mind down. Stupid me just love to you know go to the market go to the baby section you know shop for things and to be honest guys it's actually really weird but i haven't gotten nothing this single day for this baby and i'm going to be 30 weeks tomorrow which is friday but not to worry guys that's because of my school i don't have you know time but before the baby gets here i'm going to make out time whether i may be two weeks coming or thereabouts i'm going to make out time to you know shop for this child and pack my hospital bags and make sure i start getting things ready but yeah shopping is fun baby shopping is so fun like the baby colors and baby designs and their little little tiny clothes like it's just so pleasing to me so and that's like one thing that i'm looking forward to in this pregnancy then the next thing on the positive list is on my positive list is stretch pants guys i am proud to announce to you that you're a girl <laughs> That this girl right here is stretch mark free. I literally have no stretch marks on my tummy. I don't know why, but since I've been getting pregnant and giving birth, there has been no stretch mark. You might see one there, but it's not so you know popping that you get to see. Oh, there's a stretch mark on my tummy. I don't know why. I, I I think it's just my body, you know, my body type. My mom has a ton or stretch mark but the thing is that I, I am always careful with my tummy not that I apply any special oil or special cream or I use any stretch mark stuff on my tummy just that I don't scratch my tummy because whenever it gets itchy and I scratch it that's because it's getting a last then it's a la a last thing that means on a stretch you know the skin is stretching so when you scratch it uh there's going to be stretch marks, so I try so much to avoid scratching. Instead of scratching it, I just rub on it and just rub on it and try to distract myself. So, and the last and final positive thing of pregnancy for me is the weight gain. Guys, if you guys don't know or if you guys haven't noticed, your girl is on the smaller side in the world. So I'm just I'm a little girl. I'm just so small, and whenever I get pregnant, I gain and I gain weight. I like it makes me feel so much happy a little bit flesh on my body and i don't know pregnancy is the only thing that does that for me but one thing about my pregnancy is once i give birth i lose those weights like instantly you guys will see because when like once i give birth now i'll lose those weights i mean i'm saying you guys will see as if i've added anything here but i'm looking big now i don't know but i feel like i'm looking big now but when I give birth, you guys will see the skinny girl that I am. I am so skinny, guys. And yeah, pregnancy has made me has been a source of gaining weight for me, although I lose it immediately after giving birth. But I'm still happy that at some point I get to gain weight in my life. Guys, honestly guys, I'm not complaining about this pregnancy. I'm not complaining. I I, I feel so blessed actually to be able to bet this carry this baby and bet this baby. I know that there are lots of people out there that are praying for just one child. And to be honest guys, my heart is with all of you and I am praying for you and I cannot stop praying for you. I know that one day that God is going to you know shock all of you and you guys are going to know 
be testifiers, you know. So just keep being strong and don't lose faith and don't lose hope in God. But yeah, that's it, guys, for this video. I hope that this video is a little bit interesting for you guys to watch to the end. And please do watch to the end because you know, catch you naked the video. And that's it, guys, for this video. I hope that you guys, you know, enjoyed it and it is quite relatable to you guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Leave me a like on the leave me leave me a comment comment in the comment section and guys please I'm begging you guys please subscribe to my channel to help this girl with her YouTube career and until then I will see you guys in my next video I love you guys so much bye guys